now let's see how to use this next option hole so to create hole let me create one proper base for that i'll click on sketch and i'll create one sketch on this front plane so just i'll create one rectangle here like this then exit workbench so to add material with this shape let me click on here pad i need to add material with equal thickness on both directions at a time so i'll click on here mirror extent then just i will drag to specify the width and let's say okay now on this space i need to create hole so for that just i will click on here hole and we need to select the face on which face we need to create hole either you want to create on this front face or side face or top face for example i need to create one hole on this top face let me click on this top face after selecting hole option then under extension you are able to give diameter of the hole how much we want let's say for example i need diameter of 30 then next to that depth we are able to give how much depth you want for this particular hole so you are able to specify depth here or else in the place of blind we are able to have this up to next option up to last up to plane up to surface as already we have discussed about this under pocket now once if i click on up to next hole with diameter of 30 will be created up to this next directly it will go up to that last element with removing of material then next to that reverse option will be available so either you want to create hole in this direction or upper direction so upside we don't have any material so absolutely we need to create hole in downside direction so we'll make it here down only then next to that as you can see if i try to move this center point of the hole this point is able to move freely wherever it want so as you can see we can consider this center point of the hole is under constraint so to make it proper position for this particular hole as you can see positioning sketch option will be available for us so once if i click on here sketch option again we will reflect back to sketcher and whatever the point here we are getting in white color so this is the center point of the hole so by using dimension if they have provided so properly we need to make this position for this center point of the hole like this then as you can see it become green color iso constraint then exit workbench now again if i try to move that it won't move why because we made proper position for that center point of the hole by giving dimensions once if i click on preview properly where we have created position from there we are able to create one hole like this then let me give some depth here for let's say for example i need depth of 50 so we are able to get depth of only 50 here you can see preview also then bottom shape will be having here two types first is flat so as you can see how upside shape we are having bottom also we are having flat then second one we are having here v bottom this v shape we will get with how much inclination we want so just if i go for preview and if i say okay hole will be created here with v bottom like this let me go back by using control plus z again i'll create same hole i need one hole and i need to create on this face let me click on the face where you want let's say for example we need hole from this face the diameter how much we want we'll specify the diameter depth we will specify how much we want then to make proper position for that we need to go here with positioning sketch and by using dimension with reference to this center point white color point so we will give <coughs> proper dimension for hole where you want then exit workbench bottom shape we are able to change here either we want flat bottom or v bottom just we are able to create one hole like this then again i'll click on hole for example i need to create one hole on this top face now extension means we are able to give diameter and depth next option we are having here type so in holes we will be having different types like counter bore counter sunk counter drill different type of holes will be available now let's go here with the type 
once if i open here we are having simple hole tapered hole counter bore counter sunk counter drill whatever we want we can create here so if i click on tapered you can see you will get with this inclination shape with how much degrees you want then counter bore you can see this shape we are having then counter sunk we are having let me create simple hole already we know then tapered hole means with the taper shape we are able to get here with how much inclination we want and let's say okay like this again i need hole for example on that same top face so to make proper position we'll go for positioning sketch normal hole dimensions we'll give here then we'll go for type let's say for example i need to create one counter bore so this small hole dimensions we need to give under extension and whatever the dimensions we are having for this upper part that we need to create here in type now let me give some 40 here then counter bore depth i need some 10 like this so 40 diameter is for this bigger circle then small hole circle we are having 25 small hole depth is 80 then this bigger hole depth is 10 like this so for every hole we need to go for position sketch and we need to make proper position that is very important you need to understand like this again hole for example on the top face in the place of counter bore i need to create now counter sunk as you can see with inclination shape it will come same similar to counter bore only here you are able to specify with depth and angle like how much depth you want for that counter and how much inclination you want here or else depth and diameter you can give outer circle diameter and the di depth how much you want or else angle and diameter you can use so according to our requirement we can use different types here now let me go here with diameter and depth depth i need some 10 diameter i need some 45 like this like this we are able to create this counter sunk then again hole for example on this top face type i'll keep it here counter drilled so counter drilled is nothing but combination of counter bore plus counter sunk so we are able to get here straight counter bore and counter sunk with inclination at a time we are able to specify parameters if i say okay we are able to get counter bore plus counter sunk like this this is about hole here we have gone with extension and type so next we'll go here with thread definition now before that let me go back to remove that holes existing holes let's say for example hole i want exactly on this face so to make proper position we'll go for position sketch we'll give dimensions and we'll make it proper position exit workbench now always we'll be not having a proper simple holes sometimes we'll be having threaded holes so so to create threaded holes as you can see directly we will go here with thread extension or thread definition so we'll go for thread definition then click on this threaded option then here type we will be having here two standards metric thin pitch will be available metric thick pitch will be available what is the difference between these two means metric thin pitch will be used when we are having here metric thread with pitch value <coughs> like m10 into 1.25 as you can see with pitch value it is available of metric threads so if they have given only metric pitch values with metric thread values without pitch value you need to go for metric thick pitch as you can see only metric threads you are able to get without pitch value so i think you are aware of pitch value so pitch is nothing but the distance between two successive thread heads of a thread we call it as pitch if they have given metric thread with pitch value you need to go here with metric thin pitch or only if they have given metric thread directly you can go for metric thick pitch and you are able to specify how much you want now let me create one hole with m20 metric thread of 20 then thread depth how much we want hole depth how much we want this also we need to observe properly hole depth will be different thread depth will be different so hole depth is nothing but from top to how much depth you want only for a hole and thread is 
from where to how much depth you want to create thread so that you need to observe now let me create one hole with a depth of some 100 or else with a thread depth of this i will give some 60 hole depth then thread i need only for 30 like this we are able to create threaded hole and if i say okay one threaded hole will be created but here one thing in catia if you are going to create even a threaded hole we are not able to see that thread shape virtually here but same shape will be shown in drafting while making drafting i'll show you that now how we what is the difference between normal hole to threaded hole how we can consider in part design means once if i click on part body as you can see this is a threaded hole now let me create one normal hole here threaded i'll turn off and i'll say okay you can see the difference between these two with these icons <coughs> so threaded hole means it will come with this thread shape on that icon so if it is normal hole no shape we will get here so that will be the difference between this threaded hole to normal hole or else let me show now only in drafting how it will be shown in drafting so for that let me enter into drafting later in future we are able to learn or we are going to learn entire things in detail about this drafting so we'll go in a sequence first we will go with uh, sketcher again part design again assembly design next we can see that uh, drafting so directly it won't show let me show that thread how it will be shown in views just we need to turn on hidden lines with thread as you can see here for normal hole we don't have any extra shape but for threaded hole we are getting a thread shape and here also you can see inside view so hidden lines for normal hole we are having just a normal shape for threaded we are having double line here so from this to this end we call it as hole depth and from this to up to here we call it as thread depth so like this we are able to specify thread in drafting with the part design i hope you have understood about this whole option